Roxio Creator makes it easy to back up files like pictures from a digital camera or your MP3 collection and even lets you span your collections over multiple DVDs. Start by adding a blank DVD to your DVD recorder. Then, in Creator, click Data Copy and then Burn Data Disk. Creator's Burn Data Disk window opens. In this tutorial, I'm going to back up my photo collection. Within the program, I can click the Add button and either add files or folders. If I choose a folder, I would navigate to the My Pictures folder, click My Pictures, and then OK. Creator adds the selected folders to the project. Or I can drag the folders in from Windows Explorer. If you're creating an incremental update since the last time you backed up your files, you can quickly find new files using the Quick Scan panel. Click Quick Scan, choose where you want to search, the type of file to include, and the changed since date. For example, this configuration would find all digital pictures saved in the My Pictures folder since May 31, 2009. Click Scan and Creator finds the files that meet the criteria and adds them to the project. Here they are. Since I've already included these files with these other folders, I'll delete them from the collection. This leaves me with a total project size of 5.4 GB, which will take two single-layer DVDs. Before starting the burn, let's name the project. Click Name Your Disk and type the desired name. It's always a good idea to include the current date so you can quickly determine when you created the archive. Then click the Action button to start burning the disks. Here's the message telling me how many additional disks I'll need, and also that I won't be able to add more files to these DVDs after they've been recorded. That's OK, so I click Yes, and Creator starts burning the disk. Recording time will depend upon the amount of content, the speed of your DVD recorder, and the speed of your recordable media. After recording the first disk, Creator prompts me to add another disk. I'll do so and click Continue and Creator starts recording the second disk. When done, click Finish or Label Disk to create a label for the disk that you just recorded. Let's take a quick look at the DVDs we just burned. Here's the first DVD with pictures from 2005 through 2008, while the second disc contains pictures shot in 2009. Both DVDs contain an HTML file that lists the pictures saved on the spanned archive. 